Good morning, peeps. So it is 6 a.m. <laughs> Tuesday morning, right before work, and I wanted to quickly share with you something. Um, I got these journals from Michaels. Um, they were $2, um, 60% off. Um, as you can see, you know, it's just a plain little journal. I'm not crazy about the covers, so I decided to pick up a few and alter them. This is from the French Bowl collection. So um, I basically pulled out every single sheet of paper and tore off this uh, tape and covered the cover and binded it with my cinch. So I'll show you three of them that I did already. Um, one I gave as a gift to one of the doctors who unfortunately left us and moved away but this is the first one I made um, using the butterfly garden by DCWV I believe um, so it's really cute really cute this is the paper that was inside that one so all of them have like different designs on the inside so it's just basically a writing journal that's all it is um, so that's the front there's the inside, and I don't know if I use the same, there's the back, and there's the back cover is the same, okay. So that was the first one I made. Um, the second one I've already given away. Um, this one I made for another co-worker. Um, this is the one who could not decide what she wanted. <laughs> and. Um, you know, originally she wanted a planner or whatever, but I, I just recently um, ordered the plum planner, plum paper planner, um, thanks to Joe, Joe Boogie. Um, so I'm excited. I can't wait till it comes. Um, so I showed her that link and she fell in love and I think she's going to order that, but she still asked me to make her a journal. So I did. Um, this is using the DC, I think it's DCWV, um, Sweet Tangerine, I believe. So hers, I used the spiral um, bind. This was the first time I used the spiral. So funny. I <laughs> I was like, this is too difficult. I don't understand how they say this is easy. I was making it harder than it really was. It really is easy to put it in. I was just, I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was just making it more difficult. So... Here's hers. I just put a little um, Maya Road pocket on the inside in case she wanted to put something. And for hers, I put some um, scrapbook paper on the inside because she liked my Smashbook. Um, and she liked the pretty papers, as she say, in my Smashbook. So I put a few sheets of this paper. Another reason why I use this, in case she wants more of the paper, I can easily just add it. Um, for her so and on the back I just stamped little stamps this one says be yourself nobody does it better and just a little swirl at the top so these are the papers that were inside that journal um, so yeah I'm not gonna go through all of them but yeah this I just put you know went through and every few pages or so I added some paper there's another one there's another one I showed that one already and so yeah so this is just something for her to write in um, that's pretty much it to capture every moment and then this one says celebrate the good things so just something for her to write in and then she wants to add pictures she could do that on the you know scrap of paper there's the back of it um, I didn't put my handmade on this one. I forgot. So I, the butterfly one was originally supposed to be mine, but then I found one of the journals that had purple on the inside, and I'm like, oh no, I want a purple one. So um, this is the paper that was on the inside of that one, and I could not. It was the only purple one they had. Um, which originally when I bought it, they didn't have purple, but when I went back to get more. They, I found the one purple one so I said okay I don't know what I'm going to do I may keep the butterfly one I'm not sure but this one I had to get so mine is a little bit more rustic 
not rustic vintage I should say because that's my style that's what I like I use also the spiral binding um, this is using the habitat I think it's by recollections I got this for a hot buy a long time ago so there's the inside covers I did the same thing because I made a quote book for someone who um, had just um, had uh, breast uh, cancer surgery um, and I made a quote book um, and as I was making it I was like oh this is so cute I should make myself one I do collect quotes I just usually write them in a book but I thought oh these are this is so much cuter to have them I'll show you some of them as soon as I just flip through um, I'll show you some of them because I made copies of two of them this paper is the vintage country by recollections so yeah so yeah so this one's mine and um, cover is inside so I um, well, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me not lie a other co-worker helped me um, find these great quotes so I thought, oh, this is so cute. This will make a really nice quote book for her. So that's what I did. Um, I didn't share it on YouTube, but it is on my Facebook if you care to see it. Um, yeah, I used the Prima um, Fairy Bell paper. And so I made two copies of it because I thought some of these quotes would be great for myself as well. So um, I'm going to put those um, in. These are the other ones in the um the book so yeah i'm gonna put it in my journal and i'm going to um use it as a journal and a quote book to help inspire me so that's all i have for you today people um i can't wait till my planner comes i will definitely share it with you guys i don't know if i'm gonna do the whole sharing how i decorate and all that kind of stuff <laughs> i think there's enough videos out there of that um if you care to see then fine i'll share it but I think there's enough videos out there like that. So that's it. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.